Well, a sick spoof that some say goes too far. A group calling itself the Food Liberation Army releasing this video after kidnapping a Ronald McDonald statue, listing demands for what they call, quote, better and safer foods. I'm, I'm Jani Leinonen, and I'm an artist living in Finland, Helsinki. Um, yeah, long story short, that's it. <laughs> The fundamentally biggest problem is inequality, social and economical inequality. Or maybe it's, a, it's like a symptom is the inequality, but I think the, the real like sickness is the economical system that we have that's just kind of pushing us to inequality and injustice and using the, the land the way that it dies. And, and it's causing war, and it's causing drought, and it's causing poverty. And I think it's the, that's like the only only big thing that we should fix is the this very sick capitalist system that we have. And I don't think it's like individual people that are to blame for that. I think it's just the system that kind of you know pushes them to be more greedy and be more. Well, I don't know, psychopathic in, in a way. Two years ago I was in Tokyo and um, I had this uh, exhibition where I had this like a uh, fabric with thousands and thousands of uh, commercial mascots on it. But it was this like massive room filled with like all the walls were, you know, wallpapered with, the, with those mascots. And it looks really funny and and happy and, and nice and and uh, and the people who were organizing the exhibition they were like yeah yeah this is brilliant and let's put it put it in there but anyway they found three Japanese characters in it and they said like we can't have this exhibition we're gonna have we're gonna get sued if if we're gonna you know have these characters there so can you do anything about it and of course, I wasn't. I was pretty upset about it. But um, then, what we did, we just like changed the faces of, of like that polar bear and Hello Kitty, and so they looked slightly different. So that was fine with them. So I think I'm a realist artist. I mean, I I kind of paint realistically. So if if there are offensive or or unjustified things have happening in the world I'm, I'm I'm showing them I'm painting them maybe with a with, with a twist but but still it's not me who's being offensive it's the world I was in this rock radio rock like these dudes are interviewing me and that's the only thing it was a blow job and there was a dick and that was the only it's like a I thought it was a big exhibition full of you know social injustice or trying to show it and then the, the two things that these guys see is like the blowjob and the dick which are the the offensive ones so i don't know I, I, maybe the the point of view is that the world's really offensive but i really wanted to be kind of include all parts of our lives like sexuality politics and you know nationalism you know all the possible kind of feelings that we have So it's easy to, you know, nowadays to be a capitalist. There was this friend of mine who, who has this like a clothing company and it's like he's been showing me this uh, like outsourcing software. So you just go to the app and you open, like you choose, like I'm gonna, I wanna make a hoodie. And it has these like thousands and thousands of models of hoodies. You just pick one and then you, then you, then you check like the prints. It has like thousands and thousands of print models. And you choose from those which print you want, and then you just choose like how many do you want to do, like ten thousand, hundred thousand, one million, or, or how many, like what's this? So it's like basically with like a few clicks, he he just gets this like massive production done somewhere, and, and he sees the timeline when they're ready, when they're started, when they start the production. So it's like it's like automated. 
this outsourcing thing it's so far that I was like Jesus like that's that's you know that's crazy so so I thought like would it even change if I start if I did the same thing as an artist if I totally did the same thing and we it was just like unbelievable how fast they did it and how good quality it was and suddenly the paintings were here that's the weird piece of art called made in China oh yeah and then of course in the back of each painting there's a there's a you know, there's a little piece of, of fabric like this and it, it reads made in China there like in all the t-shirts and especially in the media I don't believe anybody just like you always question what somebody is trying to say to you because there's always a motive maybe it's selfish maybe it's maybe it's propaganda motive maybe it's maybe it's a, it's a good motive but uh, there's always motive and you should you know kind of of course you know normal life becomes very difficult if you're constantly doing that but 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 there's there is this con conflict between being an artist who's always kind of in a way critical and a little bit I guess selfish versus you know the collective actions that you know we're kind of trying to get together right now you know to help the world to because I, I don't think anything is going to happen if we don't join our forces and work together we're not going to get like the environmental change to to stop or we're not gonna resolve the the problems of capitalism we're not gonna solve any of these big collective problems if we don't work collectively so the more kind of alone and we work the, the you know the, the worse it's going to get well realism is just it's describing well yeah, it's describing how the world is today but that doesn't mean that you know it can change in the future I think that's that's kind of the that's what I would like to do is to participate in the change that it would it would um, become more equal and healthier and and nicer planet. I'm not trying to make history. I'm just trying to change the world into a better place. I, I guess the role for an artist is also to kind of bite the hand that feeds you. So we gotta really hold on to that that freedom. They refused to respond, so the group released another video showing Ronald being beheaded by a guillotine. Watch this. 